All right, guys, let's continue looking at our compound inequalities here. In the last video, we looked at and versus or. We looked at a situation with and and a situation with or. I do want to look at one other situation with or because it's something that a lot of people get confused with. So let's go ahead and start with that. Let's look at the situation where we have x is greater than negative 3 or x is greater than 2. Now remember, our solution for this will then want to represent any number that fits this or fits that. So if I come over here to do my work, Okay, I'm going to mark my negative 3, 0, and 2, right? x is greater than negative 3 would look like this, an open dot, and then going greater than negative 3. x is greater than, ne x is greater than 2 would look like this. We'd have an open dot at 2, and then greater than. Now, in order to answer this question, again, or means that we want to make sure that the solution is anything that will work in either of them, okay? Not necessarily independently of each other, but if it works in that one, it's a solution. If it works in this one, it's a solution. Okay, and so when we say that, then we look at this and we say, okay, well, we're not going to include negative 3 because that's never a solution. But then everything to the right of that is a solution. Okay, everything in this direction will then be an answer to the given question. Okay, now people get confused because they say, well, right here, both of them are solutions. And yes, that's true. But again, or just means that it works in one or the other, or even both of them. Okay, as long as it's a solution to one of the inequalities, then it's a solution here. All right, so hopefully you're okay with that. Let's go on to the next one. We're actually going to do an example here. Okay, the first example I want to do is this one. Now, we, in the previous video, we talked about that when it's written like this, this is actually an and. It's something and something else. You have two things that both need to be taken place. Now, this is talking about x minus 3, and it's saying that x minus 3 is bigger than or equal to negative 2, but x minus 3 is also less than or equal to 4. My recommendation right from the beginning is to, draw, to, to make these two separate. Okay, and so we're going to take this one. And we're going to go negative 2 is less than or equal to x minus 3. And then we're going to do the other one, which is going to be that x minus 3 is less than or equal to 4. Okay? And when we do this, we're going to say this is an and, because they both have to be true, since they're all written as one statement. So now all you have to do is answer each of those inequalities. We're going to add 3 to both sides here which means we have 1 is less than or equal to x. And then we're going to do solve this one as well. We'll add 3 to both sides there. And so we'll have x is less than or equal to 7. And so then we should be able to create our final answer, right? In which first we're going to have this one. So we've got 1 there. And we want x to be, or sorry, we're, we're going to need both 7 and 1. So there's 7 and 1 and 0. So x needs to be bigger than 1, bigger than or equal to. So it'll be going this way. And then x needs to be less than or equal to 7. So that would be include the 7 and go this way. So now I just need to make sure that I fit this and. And I'll put the final answer on top of my number line, right? And so any place where both of these exist at the same time is considered to be a solution. So that's everywhere from 1. They both exist here at 1, and then everything in between, like this, all the way to 7. Okay, now I'm not going to go past 7, because past 7, fill in that dot, past 7, only this one works, and below 1, only the blue one works. And so the answer is anything in between 1 and 7. Okay, and again, I don't know what happened to my line there, but it disappeared. Okay, so we'll just do it this way. Okay, so there you go. That's the solution. All right, go on to the next video for a couple more examples.